Hey, this is Ricky Kruth. How are you doing? Cool, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but a house around the corner just sold. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. That might be the core central message that helps agents get on the phone right now and be authentic with themselves and their lead types. Yeah, I think that most agents are scared to make calls because they feel like they're they're a salesperson trying to make a call and make a sale. You know, and they're scared to be in those awkward situations. Whereas if you're calling with the mindset that you're there to help them and you don't care if they buy or sell, right? It's like if you called your mom, you know, to see if she wanted to buy or sell her house, would you be trying to force her to buy or sell her house? Or would you be just asking her, you know, what you can do to help? You know what I mean? It's your mom. You're just gonna ask her what you can do to help. Like, a house around the corner sold, is there anything I can do to help you? You know what I mean? As opposed to, yeah. hey, look, you know, all the scripts out there, you know, hey, have, have you considered selling your house lately? You know, hey, this is Ricky down here. You know, have you thought about selling your house lately? It's like, hey, Mr. Seller, hey, you know, will you help me and sell your house so I can make a commission? Because I'm, I'm here for me. I want to make a commission. I'm trying to make some money out here, right? And, and, and if you don't, then, well, screw you, man. Look, who do you know? You know, you don't know me, but will you give me all your friends and family and all your contacts so I can try to make me some money here? You know, that's that's what mainstream coaching is all about, right? Whereas what, what I'm trying to do is reverse that. Instead of trying to figure out, try to use the scripts to figure out what the client can do for the agent, why don't we try to figure out what the agent can do to help the client? You know what I mean? In terms of, hey, this is Ricky Kruth. How are you doing? Cool, I'm enjoying the day. Isn't it gorgeous? Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but a house around the corner just sold. Didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you. Boom! I didn't ask them if they wanted to sell. I gave them market information. I respected their time. I didn't dive right into a sales call. I asked how they were doing, talked about the weather, and asked if I could help them, right? And so when you, when you mix all this together and you, and you add in all the different personalities that are out there and all the different tweaks you can do to my scripts to, to provide a situation where you, you can literally be yourself and know that you don't care if they want to buy or sell. It's like a seller will answer and say, well, I'm not selling my house today, Ricky. And I'm like, well, good, because that ain't why I'm calling. I don't care what you don't want to do. I want to know what I can do to help you. Not what you, well, not what I can't do to help. I want to know what I can do. So I'm glad we got that out of the way. So let's check that box off. You don't want to sell. Cool. Now let's move on over to what you do want to do so that I can help you do that. Because you're focusing on all the negative stuff here, ma'am. Know what I mean? So, man, it, it's really deep because you look at scripts and you think, that's a script. You're just going to read a script. Hmm. But when you, when you really dive into the psychology behind what I'm doing, it's extremely deep. And it goes back 18 years of my career, trial and error, right? This is original stuff here. They're like, I'm like, what in the world can I do for you? They're like, nothing. I'm like, cool. Well, look, is there an agent you would work with if you were to do something? No? Well, cool. I'm sure at some point in the future, you're going to do something. Maybe even five, year, five or 10 years down the road, right? You, you're going to do something at some point, I'm sure. Yeah cool, well look, I, I would love the opportunity to work with you when that day comes. Would it just be okay if I stayed in touch with you? Great, what's a good email? Is this your cell number? Bam, now I had this incredible conversation with them. I didn't try to sell them. You know, I was very polite, professional, dependable. Now I'm gonna build a personal brand against that contact information for the rest of their life. And they're gonna call me in three years after they refer me to people and buy and sell a piece of property. Thank you.